So, you cannot sleep. Lying awake in a pit of silence through the early hours of the morning, thinking about anything and everything. Did I double lock the back door? The forever dripping tap in the bathroom. I said you too to the kind usher who told me to enjoy the movie. Terrifying. Then the morning sun shimmers through the cracks in your blinds and you're too aware that you haven't had a minute of sleep. Don't worry, I can help with that. And it all starts with a box. I invented the Lullaby Cube a long time ago when I was going through a particularly dark, sleepless time in my life. Mine was unfortunately destroyed in the big wreck and with the whole one lullaby cube per person rule, well, at least I can pass on the knowledge of how to make one. It's a fairly simple process with some fairly simple supplies. You just need four parts crafting materials, two parts ingenuity, and a dash of creativity. And you'll need to gather all your materials before beginning the build, because if it's not complete within 24 hours, it'll induce the most noxious of nightmares. So grim, you'll never want to sleep again. A simple cardboard box. Big enough to create ambitious dreams, small enough to store under your bed. Paints. When it comes to all things dreams, I prefer black and white. Things are just easier to grasp when they're in black and white. Pencils to build the crank. They have such a timeless feel to them, as if we're never going to stop using them. The complex circuitry is made up from parts, salvaged from objects that no longer hold any meaning. A radio that plays just one song. My favourite song. My first handheld console. It's been dead for years. Another worldly battery, powerful enough to illuminate a small city. Begin by covering your box in two coats of white paint and, uh, don't leave any gaps. Just... trust me, don't leave any gaps. Next, the musical note. It's purely aesthetic, some melodic sigil of a worthless toy. It's what you want people to think. Being as inconspicuous as possible is key when you have such immense cosmic power at your fingertips. As for the circuitry on the side, Use hot glue to meld your electrical components to the box in order to sync your brain waves with the cube. You don't need a thorough knowledge of soldering for this, just enough to generate a tiny current. Finally, the crank. I like to tie my pencils together using the strongest string in the universe, but anything from your local craft shop should do. Sure is something, isn't it? Remember though, a lullaby cube is not just for a night. A lullaby cube is for life. Treat it as a friend and it'll repay you tenfold. Finally, an empty lullaby cube is not a fully functioning lullaby cube. You're going to need to feed the beast, so to speak, in order to get a good night's sleep. To ensure the most pleasant of dreams, you're going to need to gather some items near and dear to you, but you already knew that childhood memory for the warmest nostalgia tucked away in the back of your brain. Sunglasses, added protection from the morning sun. A sketchbook, filled to the brim with doodles. Something creepy to keep me on edge. Snakes, a crocheted mushroom, for flavor. Now say goodbye to your beloved items as you grind them up into a sleepy, infectious gas. Inhale the fumes deep and allow your brain to lucidly drift into a world that could never exist. And that's that. I wish you the best of luck on your nighttime adventures, and remember, I can't stress enough, don't break your lullaby cube, you only get one. And if it does break, you'll never sleep again. Terrifying thought, right?